asthma free for the moment and love it. Put it all in here in my pocket, just in case. Susan Bowles, mother of the origami killer's dead victim. Maybe she knows something about the circumstances surrounding her son's death. Baby screaming and no answers? Don't like the look of this. Mrs. Bowles? Anybody home? Hmm. I don't know why, but I got a bad feeling about this. Hello, little cutie. Who? Oh, you looking for your mama? Oh. letter. Holy fuck. I hope she, I hope she hasn't. Mrs. Bowles, Mrs. Bowles, are you there? Can you hear me? Wake up! Wake up! She's lost a load of blood. Lucky I happened to be up. I'm gonna call an ambulance. No, I... I don't want to go to the hospital. Please. Okay. You got something around here I can dress this one with? Yeah. I think so. Okay. Don't move. I'll be right back. Quick, she's losing blood. I gotta hurry. Let's see. I need this. And this. And this. Stay with me, Susan. Susan, do you hear me? Susan, stay with me. Can you hear me? Stay with me. Okay, come on. I'm here for you, Susan. You'll be all right. I'll take care of you. I don't want to can. That should stop the bleeding. Well, luckily the wounds aren't too deep. Hey, how are you feeling? Okay. My baby. My baby needs me. Right. You stay there. I'll take care of the baby. Okay? Do you know what to do? With a baby, I mean. I'm a private eye. There's nothing I can't do. <laughs> Her name is Emily. Gotcha. I was a private eye when I walked in here. And now I'm a babysitter. <laughs> Go figure. 
The mummy will live for now. Let's see how Junior's doing. Hi there, Emily. So, what seems to be the problem, huh? Oh! Going by the smell? I got a pretty good idea. Okay. How do you do this again? There you go, fresh new baby. <laughs> that should feel better. Right, Emily? Hmm? Hey, what's the matter? I thought we solved the problem. Of course. Now I know why you're crying, my little peachy poop. Mother shall be to the rescue. I guess I better warm this thing up. Oh, Emily, are you hungry? Huh? You hold on. I'll just tilt this ball a little bit so you don't choke. Oh, good job, Emily. Hmm? You're feeling good now, right? <laughs> now, I'm going to rock you very gently so you can have a nice little snooze. Right. That's about the limit of my maternal powers. Poor kid. Life ain't gonna be easy for her. Thanks for looking after my baby. I didn't want to leave her. I just couldn't cope anymore. Having Jeremy around. He was such a good boy. I can't understand why anyone would want to hurt him. Do you take care of this baby on your own? Doesn't Jeremy's father live with you anymore? He disappeared. The day after Jeremy. I don't know what happened to him. Maybe, maybe he couldn't take it. Ever since I've had to look after Emily all on my own and I couldn't 
do it anymore. I understand. Did your husband say anything before he disappeared? Did he leave a note or something? No. He left the house without a word and... There was just a cell phone. A cell phone? Yeah, I, I found a cell phone in his dresser. I'm sure it wasn't his. I'd never seen it before. I tried to turn it on, but it didn't work. Do you still have it? Yeah, it's, um, it's in a drawer in the living room. You can have it if you'd like. I'm sure it's of more use to you than to me. Do you have any family or anybody to help you? Yeah, my mother. I didn't want to ask her for anything. We don't really get along. But I guess I'm out of options. Well, look after yourself. And Emily. I will. I promise. In a drawer in the living room. That's what Susan said. I can't stop thinking about that well. Sean seemed exhausted. But at least he's alive. I'll do anything to get him out of there. The parking lot ticket in the origami figure leads to this garage. What am I gonna find here? Excuse me? Hey! Oh! Ah, sorry. Didn't see you. Uh, what can I do you for? I'd like to get my car. Have I been here before? Hey, Don't you're a pretty it. patient guy, you are. That car's been there for two years. We took it out for a drive every month and check the tires and batteries, just like you said. Here. It's the third floor down. The service Thanks. elevator is at the far end of the garage. Ah, you have yourself a good one, Chief. Dozens of cars, but which one am I looking for?
Your destination is four miles from here. Leave the parking lot and take the first right. Stop my hands shaking. I'm not going to make it. I'm I'm not gonna make it. If I succeed, I'll get more letters for the hangar. It's my only need. No turning back now. I don't wanna die. Not here. Not like this. I can do it. I'd do anything to save my son. Go the wrong way on the highway for five miles? Am I willing to take that risk in order to save my son? I've got to do it, for Sean's sake. I have no choice.
your reward is in the glove compartment. The key is inside the GPS. Your reward is in the glove compartment. The key is inside the GPS. Your reward is in the glove I'm worn out. I've got to sleep. The reception. The atmosphere here Let's hope they've got a room left. As there is still no news of 10-year-old Sean Mars who disappeared yesterday. A recent report indicates that the police are now treating this as another kidnapping by the Origami killer. If this information is confirmed, he may still be alive as the previous victims were all killed three to five days after their abduction. Obviously, time is running out fast for the investigators trying to find the child. I'm Michael Netty for ICN. Hello there, sweetheart. What can I do for you? I'd like a room. For you? Anything. <laughs> Feeling the register. Madison Page, 27, single. How long will you be staying with us, Ms. Page? I don't know yet. Room 201. Last floor, stairs on the right, in the courtyard. 
Thanks. The pleasure was all mine. That's for sure. That obnoxious receptionist better not have a spare key to my room. The thought of it leaves me in a cold sweat. Room 201. Stairs on the right, last floor. someone there. Is he... Is he wounded? Sir? Are you alright? I'll call an ambulance. No ambulance. You're badly hurt. You need a doctor. Please, just help me to my room. It's number 207. Hospital. Why? Have you got the key? He's in trouble. I can't just walk away and leave him like that. You're really in bad shape. You should see a doctor. I must have one, maybe two broken ribs. It's not fatal. But it's sore as hell. Your head is bleeding. It looks deep. I'll help him first and ask questions later. I should disinfect his cuts. I'm gonna disinfect your wound. This might hurt a little. At least it won't get infected. Thanks. Paracamol painkiller. Administer in cases of intense pain. Do not take more than one pill every 24 hours. Here. Take this. It should do you what some good. It? It's a painkiller. It'll help reduce the pain. It says on the box to take one every 24 hours. I don't think it's a good idea to exceed the dose. I can't afford to wait. I wouldn't move around for a few days if I were you. I, I'm gonna take a shower. All right, let me help you. I'll wait here until you come out. Let me know if you need anything. Talk to me. That way I'll know if you pass out. What's your name?
Madison. Are you staying in the hotel? No, I live in town. I suffer from chronic insomnia. I seem to only be able to sleep in motels. Don't ask me why. Whenever I get too exhausted, I, uh, I come and spend a night here. I'm... I'm just passing through. And what else do you do, Madison? Apart from fixing up strangers. I'm a photographer. I take pictures of uh, furniture for fashionable design magazines. And you? I... I'm an architect. Thanks for staying. I feel a lot better now. Okay. I better get going then. By the way, you never told me your name. Ethan. Be careful, Ethan. I'm still in pain, but I gotta keep going. Man, I'm thirsty. I don't have much time. I've got to find my son before it's too late. I don't know why she helped me. I hope she won't tell anyone. Why didn't you shoot? Sorry? Well, back there, Nathaniel could have had a gun. Could have killed me. Why didn't you shoot? I prefer to have all the information before I make a decision. I try to make rational choices when possible. Come on, you had a fraction of a second to react. You could have whacked me before you had time to move. Well, I'm sorry. I thought you were a tough guy, a street cop who's been through the mill. I didn't think you'd scare so easily. Why don't you fuck off, Norman? That's him. Miroslav Korda? Yeah? Lieutenant Carter Blake, I'd like to ask you some questions. Oh. Oh. Shit, don't just stand there, he's gonna get away! Ah! Hey man, watch it! Ah.
the fuck is Blake? Shit! Where'd he go? I can't see anything here. No way he's escaping. I'm gonna get that bastard. Damn place is freezing. My hands are numb. Looks like we got our origami killer. <laughs> <laughs> 